Hi everyone, today it's going to be the Finley Cupcake. So again, just like the last two days, take a ball of a crew or tan clay and proceed to push it into the mold. Make the top as well and dust the top with chalk pastels. I used a earth tone yellow and some light brown. Set that aside and take some blue clay. In this case, I used the glitter clay that I have. Roll it into a thick log and proceed to push it down using any flat surface that you have. I'm using a stamping block. And then just make sure that it is proportioned to the cupcake. And this is basically making the hat that Finley wears. So once you've determined the perfect shape and size of the hat, go ahead and cut using your blade a very small strip. And this is going to act as the darker band on the bottom of Finley's hat. Now, I did not use a different color clay, but if you look at the actual costume of Finley, it's a darker band of blue. So you may want to do that if you want to be more accurate. So then once you do that, get some gold clay. And then what you'll do is roll that out, cut it into very small strips. And then what you'll do is place that strip right above where you placed that band as shown in the previous section. And you can secure it with uh, any uh, TLS if you want, but uh, I found that conditioned clay tends to stick well. Cut another strip for the top band of Finley's hat and overlap that through the top and on the sides. And then what you'll do next is take some scrap clay, roll it into a very small ball, and press it on the sides. And those are the buttons on the side of Finley's hat. And then I'm just taking a tool and then I'll probably press it down just to make it a little more flat. Then we're gonna start with the wing. You'll see that I used an actual wing mold originally, but then I decided I wanted to make my own wings using that feather technique I showed you. So I'm gonna use those wings from the mold as a structure. So if you wanted to make it a little more sturdy, I would suggest maybe rolling out some clay, brown clay, and then maybe cutting it into a fan shape or a rectangle. And then you're gonna follow the steps of making this feather like I'm showing you right now. And then using that as kind of a base for your feathers. And you'll see as we get along this tutorial here what I mean by that. So just like the other tutorial or the one yesterday, you're basically going to make the feather using your tool. And then once you've made the feathers, just line it along the base of your wing. In this case, I'm using a wing as a base. Uh, but just take a look at the online picture of Finley, and it'll give you an idea of how to shape that. Again, roll a long snake thinner on one end, flatten it down, and use your tool to make the veins, and I know they're not called veins, but that's the only way I can describe it at this point, of the feather. The last surprise tutorial I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to make real feathers that are more intricate than this. So stay tuned for that in the next couple of days. So what I'm doing right now is just overlapping the feathers that I make onto the base of the wing. And you're, you'll want to roll out several more of these and proceed to make them in different lengths and different thickness and then just overlap them one another. There's really no rhyme or reason to do that. It's gonna be how you want it to look aesthetically. And again, you'll see how it looks towards the end. So once you overlap it and decide how you like it to look, this is how it's gonna look. I smooshed the ends on the left, and then you'll see that I cut or trimmed the back of the structure so that it doesn't peek through the wings. Once you've done that, you'll want to repeat this step and it takes a little bit of time, but it's definitely worth it for the left wing as well. And here's an example again of the left wing, just in case you didn't know how to make that by now. And then once you've done that, um, take a, another piece of brown clay, roll it out into a thin snake with thinner on one end, and that will be the tail of Finley. Once you're all done with that, bake it Put your whipped cream on and here is your Finley cupcake. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and stay tuned for more. Thanks everyone for watching. Bye.